I'm coming, old guy. I guess the old guy is behind these huge doors. Okay. <laughs> You've got nowhere left to hide now. Give up, you fool. Huh, there he is. It's true colors. Stop! Huh. Why are you here? Stay out of our way! destroyed the Earth Dragon. <laughs> You've done well, Jack. Don't do it, Cross. Fire Dragon dies. It's it's the end. have won. We can't possibly lose now. We can wipe them out. Goblins, elves, all the non-humans. We will trample them into the dirt like cockroaches. Just like we did with your Adele. Uh, what did you say? You stinking rat! What have you done to my sister? <laughs> all bark and no bite, eh, Jack? The adventure's over. Let's see if you can at least die properly. That's enough! Huh? Sir, Sir Gawain! Gawain? This is the famous Gawain? Get away from him. That is, unless you want to take me on as well. If that's what you want. Stand down, Cross. Sir Gawain is too strong. You can't hope to fight him and win. Not here. <gasps> We're going to back down? Yes, we are. Very well. Jack, you get away this time. Jack, are you okay? Speak to me. The... the old man. I couldn't... I couldn't... save him. Jack! Hang on! Do you hear? <laughs> no. 
Parsec. Parsec has been slain. Now only the vessel remains. Once that is destroyed... <clears throat> Still too weak to move. That lousy lowlife cross. I'm going to get him. I can't believe he killed the fire dragon. It's no good. I have to get my energy back. Right. Gotta sleep. Here I go. Cross. What have you done to my sister? I want to speak to you about the questioning of Adele, Jack's sister. It has been going on far too long. She has not been charged with any crime. The woman is the sister of a traitor. I hardly think we need to waste any pity on her. Don't forget, it is my fiancé who has been kidnapped. Enough! I'm growing tired of your insubordination. There are very few in this castle who would dare speak to the Dragon Slayer in such a manner, General. In any case, I want Adele released immediately. That's an order. I'm afraid you're too late. What? It seems that while we were chasing dragons, the mice came out to play. She has escaped. Very well. I will include that in the report I'm preparing for Lord Larks concerning your recent behavior. <laughs> Do as you wish. But I didn't realize the General was a tattletale. Cross! <laughs> Lord Parsec told us himself it is our duty to quash the humans' arrogance. The humans have become completely unmanageable. They grow more and more violent by the day. Extermination is the only answer now. You are too hasty, Lord Zane. We all know that humans are greedy and selfish creatures. But that's because human life is so fragile and short. Humans aren't immortal. They're like babies. They want to grasp at everything before their time is up. Oh. Are you suggesting that we should just forgive them? No, I'm not saying that. It's just... Elves don't understand desire. The desire to live. The desire to love. The desire to leave a legacy behind. You don't know these things. We don't need such crass emotions. It's because of their childish needs that humans are as they are. I'm not talking about who is better or worse. Well, what are you trying to say then? Would you prefer that the humans be destroyed? Or the fairy creatures? I don't want either of those things. But in my heart, I do know one thing. I'm certain that the humans are not the cause of the Algandar's plague. Nonsense! You don't know what you're talking about! You were the cause of my brother's death! You have no right to speak to me of such things! Lord Zane, I understand how you feel. But... I now also know, deep in my heart, how Lord Nogueira felt. What do you think? She is gathering her resolve. Her resolve? 
perhaps mind. The mind of the ancient elves. The mind of humans. And her own mind, too. There's a fierce battle going on inside her. One that we just can't imagine. It's all happening in that young girl's heart. The resolve to serve as the vessel is growing inside her. The vessel? So you noticed too? Oh yes. I knew from the moment I saw her. And I'm resolved to see the young girl all the way through to her destiny. Hmm. All this talk of resolve and destiny. You're a human like all the others, after all. Hmm. What are you going to do? The four dragons are slain. I have called together the elite warriors of all the races. We will launch an all-out assault on the humans. Well then, do what you must. Gawain, there will be no more mercy for the humans. The dragons are all slain. The non-humans are on the defensive. Their morale is in tatters. We must not miss this opportunity. Gather the troops. We'll strike them down with one mighty blow. But Lord Cross, Sir Gawain is with the non-humans. Shouldn't we develop a strategy or something? What do you mean? Develop a strategy? What are you blabbering about? This is a grave situation, sir. We can't afford to be careless. Silence! I would not have cowards in my brigade. Get out of my sight! Get as many of the troops together as you can. Do it now! Yes, sir! But, but, Sir Cross! Shouldn't we get permission from General Dynas first? Uh, get him! Sir! The General is finished. No one will listen to him. The people will follow the Dragon Slayer now.